Hey, this is Brian Henderson with Wash Dry Fold POS. In today's video, I'm showing off our brand new integration with the Laundry Boss. We're here on the Equipment Setup page. We'll click the gear icon on the top right corner and go to Manage Equipment if we're not there already. We'll click on the New Integration tab. We'll select an integration partner. In this case, it's the Laundry Boss. We'll copy and paste our API key that the Laundry Boss provides you for your store if you already have the Laundry Boss Paint system installed on your washers and dryers and your laundromat, and you'll click Save. And what will happen next is the list of washers and dryers in your store uh, are pulled from the Laundry Boss system, and you'll go through and select which washers and dryers in Wash Dry Fold POS that they match up to. Now, this list of washers and dryers in Wash Dry Fold POS is going to be controlled through the Machines tab, just like normal, where you've entered your machines as they are seen on the Order Tracker screen. And so on this integration page, we're just going through and mapping out those connections because they might be numbered differently in the Laundry Boss than they are in your Wash Dry Fold POS system. So we'll just quickly go through and select all of those to make them match up. Once you have all your machines matched up, then the next setting to pay attention to is this one right here, Start Machines from Order Tracker. Now, what this will do is while your attendants are processing orders through the Wash Dry Fold process on the Order Tracker screen, this option, when they select washers and dryers in those steps, it will literally send a start command to those machines. Let me show you what that looks like. I'll click up here and go to Order Tracker. I'll put in my code. And you can see we already have some orders in process, but let me click this order number 850 and drop it in the wash. And we can select which washers we want to put this order into. And so say if I choose washers one, two, and three, and I have those right here, and I can also adjust the prices if I need to for different settings, I can click confirm. And once I click confirm, because of this integration is set up, it will literally send a start command through the laundry wash system to those washers. What's great is that for accountability, this then means that attendants are only selecting machines that they're using for drop-off orders, and they're not starting machines means in a way that is not tracked in the Wash Dry Fold POS system and also in the Laundry Boss system. Even better is that you'll be able to compare the machine start amounts for the order and compare that to the size of the order. So if this, for example, is a $25.43 drop-off laundry order, uh, we can compare the amount that was spent on the washers. And our machine starts report will show those ratios exactly. So if I click up here and go to reports, let's take a look. And here we can see the machine starts report on the reports page, and we'll just select it from this list here, and we can either group it by order or group it by employee, and we can even see for this order number 850, those machine starts were 750 compared to the 2543 for the whole order, and that gives us a ratio there of what was spent on the machine starts compared to the size of the order. And if we click on the order itself, we can even see additional information about that integration with Laundry Boss if we need to match up exact transactions to what's seen in the Laundry Boss system. Another useful feature of this integration with Laundry Boss directly for starting washers and dryers from within Wash Dry Fold POS is through the inventory. You can create an item that you sell at the register where, for example, a customer pays you money at the register for starting washers and dryers, and the start command will be sent directly to the machines. So I am currently on the inventory page, and I have created this item called machine start. You can name it whatever you'd like, but you'll give it the properties of retail item and then the price $0.00 and also machine start item. This new option appears here when we have the Laundry Boss integration enabled. And so this is a special type of item that will show a new screen when it is sold through the register page for the specific purpose of starting washers and dryers. Let's take a look at what that looks like on the register page. I'll say new sale. And in this example, I'm just gonna continue without selecting the customer's name. And here's this machine start item. Once I select it, because it has that machine start item option enabled on it, we see a list of machines that's very much like what we see in the order tracker. But in this case, let's say we want to start washers 11 and 12, and then maybe a dryer, for example. And we can even adjust the amount of money that gets sent to that machine. And we'll say confirm. And once we receive payment for this transaction, so say 
They hand us $10 cash and we make change, say cash, okay. And we give the customer back their change. What happens next is those start commands are then sent to those washers and dryers. And again, if we ever want to audit this in wash dry fold POS, then we can again, go back to that reports page, machine starts, and then display report. And sure enough, we have this transaction we did right here where we can then see which machines were selected, how much was paid, and then uh, when those uh, start commands go through the Laundry Boss system, we'll even see unique ID numbers from the Laundry Boss integration on there to match up to their system.